There are a couple ways you can go about inserting images into your report. And to do that, let's go to the Design View by coming up here, right-clicking on the tab, Design View. As you recall in an earlier training video, the Design View has these bars here that are known as sections. And it's important that we know this because when it comes to inserting our labels, text boxes, images, whatever, it'll tell us, depending upon which section we put it in, where on the report it's going to appear and how many times. So a brief overview, if I want to insert my image into the report header section, where is that going to appear on the report? Well, it's going to appear up at the top of the first page in the report because it's heading the report, hence report header, and that's the only place it will appear. If I want it at the top of each page, put it in or insert it into the page header section. Then we've got department code header, so it's going to group our records by department. And if you want it next to each department name, then put it right there. If you want it next to each record in the report, you can put it right there. Or at the end, after it groups it by department name, at the bottom of that group, you can insert the image there. Or at the bottom of each page, like next to the today's date or the page number, put it somewhere in here. Or at the very end of the report, like with the grand total, you can put the image there. But to keep it simple, I'm going to insert the image in my report header. So again, it only appears on the first page up at the top, heading the report. And to do that, there's a couple ways you can do that. You can come up here on the Design tab and, well, there's the Insert Image, but I'll do that last. Because the other way, let's go and click on Controls and find the Image Control. There it is. You can see when I hover over it, it says Image in the pop-up. It's got a picture of a sun, a mountain, so it's a picture. And it's got the monitors, so if you want to insert a picture into your application, let's go ahead and click on it. Hover over the grid where you want to insert it. And you'll see you got a plus sign, which means when you click, it's going to add something. What is it going to add? Well, that little icon below it that indicates that it's going to be an image. So when you click, it automatically opens up the Insert Picture window, and it says, OK, where's this picture? So if you want to look for it over in the Navigation pane, you know, like it's somewhere on your desktop, select Desktop. Over in the main view, it's in my Exercises folder, double-click, and there you go. Now, if you can't see it within the folder and you know it's there, you probably have to change the file type. Click on the drop down arrow because if it's something like bitmaps where this is a ping file, it disappears because it's only looking for the extension bitmap. So click on the drop down arrow. And by the way, if you want to learn more about extensions, you can watch my Windows training video on extensions. In any case, if you want to see everything and not mess with it, then just select all files and it shows you the image and everything else in that folder like the current database we're in, the Report Basics. So let's go ahead and double click on our image to insert it. And ugh, that's all fuzzy here. It's not nice and smooth as we saw before we inserted it. And so that's one way to insert your image. But like I said, it doesn't look good, right? As opposed to, let me go ahead with it selected, hit the Delete key, coming back up here and clicking on the Insert Image. Hey, look at that. It's already there. Well, before I started my training video, I inserted it from the drop down arrow so it remembers it in this session. So I can go ahead and click on it, or if it's not there, click on Browse. In the Exercises folder, it's not there. Why? Because it's not looking for that extension. Click on the drop down arrow and select All Files, and there we go. Double click and opens it up. I got my little plus sign, go ahead and click to add it, and hey, doesn't that look nice and shiny and smooth and shadow actually looks like a shadow, not something pixelated? Great! After you insert it, maybe you want to resize it, make it bigger, and to do that, if you hover over these little square boxes, they're known as resizing handles, that when you hover over one, they're at the corners and also in the middle of the sides that when you see arrows pointing in opposite directions, you can click and drag to make it bigger that way, more horizontally, or do it in the corner here. And if you're running out of space, as you stretch it, it'll push the other section down and the corresponding sections, or you can hover over the top bar of the next section until you can see arrows pointing up and down, click and drag to push it down. And then you can see your teeny tiny little resizing handles. Now you can do it that way, or if you want to resize it perfectly, or numerically, you want to actually type in the numbers, you want to bring up the property sheet, and you can do that with a double click. And there we go, the property sheet for the image. There's the width and the height. 
and it's not exactly perfect, is it? So if I come in here and I say, okay, maybe it's a little too big. For the width, it'll be one and a quarter. Hit the tab key, and let's do 1.25 for the height. Hit the tab key. Alrighty, let me click and drag and move that over here. Now, while we're here, how about if we take a look at the size mode? Something that I think you might find interesting. So let me click in it and click on the drop down arrow and you have three types of size modes. You have clip, stretch, and zoom. The stretch will stretch the image to fit the text box the way that we sized it in there. Zoom to fit in the box and clip will clip the picture to fit within the box. So like the clip, if the image is five inches by five inches and we shrink it down to a half inch, it'll clip off everything outside of that half inch box because it can't squeeze in there. So it's not zooming in to fit it or when we inserted it and we stretched the box out but the image is so tiny it can't fit it it can't stretch to fill in the gap well you can choose stretch in any case let's go ahead and select clip and you can see it clipped part of it off not entirely and you don't have to click on the drop down arrow to be able to choose the others you can actually toggle by double clicking oh there's stretch oh that's nice it made the background transparent oh that's fancy i like that Let's go with that. Let me go ahead and hover over the bottom right hand corner, click and drag to push it up and in because I just want this guy to fit right next to the title of our report. Okay, and it looks kind of squashed and so I can look at the width and height and go, okay, that's a half inch and that's a little bit less than a half inch. So let's just go 0.45, enter, come back up here and do 0.45, enter. All right, let's take a look at it. Come up here, right click on the tab, go to the print preview. Okay, something's happening with the computer. When it's stretched, it's supposed to have a transparent background. Well, it's not working now, but hopefully it'll work for you. And plus I got this huge gap here. Well, that's a problem. Let's go ahead and right click, go to the design view, and let's see if we can refresh this. And go from stretch to zoom to clip to stretch, close out, and then Maybe that refreshed it, we'll find out. Hover over the top of the page header bar until I can see arrows pointing up and down. Click and drag to really get it nice and snug so I don't have this huge gap. And let's go ahead and right click and go to the report view. Oh, hey, there we go. It works in the report view where it gets rid of that background. Oh, that's nice. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.